Section 1, Curve Fitting. In this section, you will learn how to create curves and fit them to the scan lines. Fitting the curves will give us an idea of where the surface will end and the fillet will start. This will help us create a better fit to the scan. Curve Fitting. Before you begin surface modeling, use the scan lines to gather information about the model. This is a scan model we're going to be working with. The highlight scan curves are the ones that should be fitted in order to complete this tutorial. I'll be fitting one of them and you can apply the same principles for the other ones. I'm going to pick the center line scan line and we'll hide everything else. We're going to go to the side view and we're going to start fitting the scan. Okay, we're going to turn on the tool, the Fit Curve tool. We're going to click on the curve. And it gives you two manipulators here. You can drag the manipulators to your likings. Okay, so basically what we're trying to do here is fit a nice curve and have a nice CV distribution. Now as you can see here, it's a little bit jaggedy, so we're going to modify that. And you can put that here. Okay. I think I'm pretty happy with that. We're going to do the same thing for the back. We probably won't need as much CVs, so let's go with two. And now I'm just guessing to where the fillet uh, will start and the surface will end. We'll see how the um, comb looks uh, later on. We'll be modifying these curves again. Okay, and we do the same thing to the front. Okay, now if you want to get um, those manipulators back, all you have to do is you can query edit under object edit and just click on the curve, on the fit curve. Okay, now we can create the blends. We're going to turn on the blend curves. Make sure you have auto align on. And we're going to snap it to the first side and now to the second one. We'll edit the point and make sure it's G2. Okay. And while we're at it, we'll do the other one. Okay, so let's go back to this one over here. Now, as you can see here, the curve is now right on. There's a couple ways you can do it. You can edit the blend curve and you can move uh, this manipulator here. And we can do the same thing for the other one. Or, you can just query edit the foot curve and you can slide that. Okay. And as you can see, the curve will update. Let's do the same thing for the top. Yeah, 
There we go. We'll do the same thing for the front. Okay, that's good. Okay, so we're ready to evaluate the curve now. We're going to pick the scan line and we're going to make it invisible. I'll pick my curves now and we're going to evaluate the curvature comb. With my left mouse button, I scale it up so we can see something. Okay, and it's a pretty good looking comb. Only here we have a tangent break over here and right on the corners. Now in order to fix this, we're going to have to manually move some CVs. So we will break the uh, history on the fit curves. I'm going to use the move CV tool with a slide option on. And I'm going to click on the CV here and we're going to slide it. There we go. What we're trying to achieve here is a nice smooth transition between the two curves and as you can see the comb here it's got a very good acceleration and a smooth transition onto the other part. Okay, you might have to move this one as well. There we go, that's pretty good. Now we're going to do this one at the bottom here. That looks good. And the one from the side. There we go. And lastly, we'll do the one on the front. Very nice. So this is something that you want to end up with at the end. After you fitted all your curves, this is the result that you want to get. As you can see here, very nice comb, very good transition. What I've also done is I've added some spheres here. Let's delete these combs. I've added some spheres here as reference, so when we create our surfaces or our patches, we have a reference on where the surface uh, will end. Okay, now we are ready to start uh, modeling and uh, fitting some surfaces uh, to the scan. Section 2, Patch Layout. This is the patch layout and the order we will be using to create the surfaces. We have the main surfaces, the fillets, transitional surfaces, and the ball corners.